In this video I'll show a way that I uh, estimated what the um, center frequency of the crystal filter is and then to, how to determine the uh, BFO for LSB and uh, USB. So the way I've got my system configured here is I've got my uh, PARC SIGGEN connected and it's generating a signal into the LO port for the first uh, SA612. I've got the my XG3. It's going to be generating a minus 73 dBm signal, 40 meters, uh, 7.1 megahertz, coming into the um, LT1253. And I turned up the gain for both op amps to be the maximum gain. So it's really pushing a strong signal through. Got my 40 meter bandpass filter. Uh, coming through all my transformers and then I've got my SA here connected to the output of the transformer that's feeding the second SA612 and it's been removed so it's not uh, terminated this is floating right there so what I've got here is I've got a 1.5 K uh, resistor in series with my SA so it uh, presents uh, 1550 ohms to this transformer uh, to the uh, crystal filter because this transformer is uh, transforming 1500 ohms to 230 ohms for the uh, crystal filter. So I did some preliminary scans using the tracking generator with a similar setup of 1500 ohm in series with the tracking generator, my transformer, bandfast filter, transformer 1500 ohms and uh, the SA and I did a sweep and uh, from that sweep I was able to determine the center frequency is about 11998 390 uh, uh, hertz and uh, uh, the width uh, I, I went down about uh, about 30 dB down or so from the top here just to make sure I was on the skirt and I got about 4219 hertz wide and uh, based on that I was able to estimate the uh, uh, middle frequency so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a starting point to generate uh, the LO frequency and I'm going to use the actual uh, uh, 7.1 megahertz feeding through the system to actually uh, identify what the center frequency is so from the previous uh, uh, SA sweep I found out that the middle frequency was around 11998390 so I set my uh, signal generator here to generate 19098300 and basically that number is arrived by adding the 11998390 plus 7.1 megahertz and that gives me the 19098300 um, uh, hertz, roughly ar around that. I think it comes out 390, but I just rounded it off to 390. So I've got that on. It's generating that signal. I'm going to turn on my tracking generator, or or turn on my uh, XG3. Here's a spectrum from my scope. It's uh, showing a peak there, one roughly about 12 megahertz. So I'm uh, going to hit the peak mode, go into peak mode, continuous peak, center, and then I'm going to zoom in, hit the span button here, and I'm going to zoom in. Then I change my bandwidth, and basically what I'm trying to do is get the bandwidth down as, possible, as small as possible so I can get some accurate readings. So I've got it down to 100 hertz, hertz and the sweep is still pretty uh, slow. So let's zoom in some more. Let's hit the uh, peak button again, center it. And uh, let's zoom in some more. Oh, we could even zoom out. So there's our peak there. We go back to peak mode and it's telling me the frequency and it's a, a roughly about minus 53 dBm. It's measuring that. Now that minus 53 dBm is going to be off because we've added a 15 uh, 1.5 uh, K resistor uh, in series with the uh, 50 ohm 
um, spectrum analyzer so that's going to form a voltage divider and that reading is going to be off but that's okay we don't care I'm just using that as a relative number so one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the display button I'm going to turn on a horizontal line I'm going to bring it down to about minus 53 so right there so I know that's the level that I'm at now and if I change my uh, LO here I'm changing it by thousands of hertz you'll see it dropping down the XG3 just turned off and as I change my frequency you'll see it dropping off along the skirt popping back up and you'll see the maximum is about it remains about minus 53 so what I'm going to do now is I am going to adjust the local oscillator and I'm going to um, decrease the value till I get 3 dB below this value so I'm going to shoot for minus 56 uh, dB on this side as I decrease the local oscillator and then the same thing on this side I'm going to in increase it until I get the minus 3 dB point here uh, on the uh, right side so it'll be on the right hand side of the skirt and then on the left hand side of the skirt and then from that from those two 3 dB points I'll be able to estimate my uh, uh, middle frequency okay so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna start uh, decreasing my local oscillator and I'm decreasing it by hundreds of Hertz and again I'm targeting minus 56 and as you can see as I'm moving it around there's virtually no ripple in the pass band oops I have to go back to peak it was on marker so there's 55 so we need to get to 56 there's about 56 and I note my frequency on my signal generator and uh, uh, that is 19096690 that's my first marker then I'm going to increase I'm going to increase the frequency and get to the other 3 dB point and then as I was saying you'll see as I'm sweeping across the filter that peak is not oscillating very much so I've got a pretty smooth gone a little too far so right there is about 56 and uh, that frequency on my uh, signal uh, SIGGEN is 191 uh, sorry 191.00.190 so basically here's the numbers I took here's the uh, minus 53 level and then I went down minus 3 dB to minus 56 and the first reading of my uh, um, local oscillator, the signal generator, I was generating a local oscillator, was 1909.169 and 1910190. So I take the difference of that, that gives me 3500. I take half of that and I add it to that, and this is giving me my center frequency 19098. Uh, 440 so that's my center uh, frequency uh, for the uh, filter so if I want to actually determine what frequency that is I would take that and I would subtract off the uh, 7.1 megahertz now on my uh, XG3 it's actually 7.099995 it's it's off by 5 Hertz so that'll give me what the center frequency of my uh, uh, crystal filter is so to get the uh, uh, LSB and USB values uh, what we'll do we'll take the um, center frequency and we'll subtract 1500 Hertz for the USB so that would be sort of the LO uh, think of it as the LO for uh, lower sideband and uh, uh, we would add that 1500 out give us the LO for the USB and so to get the BFO we need to uh, remove 709995 from it and so the actual BFO 
uh, comes out for low, lower sideband is 11996945 and for uh, upper sideband it's 11995